Good morning, beloved. It's a once again uh, Affirmations Wednesday, a great Wednesday, and we are so glad to have you here with us. I am Cheryl Lacey Donovan, and this is your Affirmation Wednesday inside the B Suite. And today, I just want to remind you that joy comes in the morning. That's right. There is a scripture in the Bible that says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning to remind us that no matter what we're going through, no matter how we may be feeling, no matter how dark it may seem that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that light is Jesus he is a light in the darkness amen he is a light unto our pathway amen so this morning just reminding you that joy follows suffering and pain there are certainly some trying times that we go through in order to reach the other side of the rainbow During those troubling times, I noticed that I focus on the pain and suffering. I continue to hurt and experience negative things. Therefore, instead of focusing on the negative, I choose to focus on what the positive outcomes of this pain and suffering might be. I ask myself whether or not I can use this pain and suffering in some way. Is there a way that I can show others the good things that come from pain? Whether I am experiencing physical pain or emotional distress, can I learn from what I am going through? And beloved, let me tell you something. Yes, you can. There's a purpose in that pain. Yes, I can take the issues I face and find the silver lining regardless of how difficult it may be. Yes, I can take the issues I face and find the silver lining regardless of how difficult it may be. I can find happiness within the suffering. I can draw strength from the inspiration of others who have experienced pain and suffering before me. Yes, it's intentional. It's intentional, beloved. It's not easy, but it is intentional and it can be done. You have to choose to do so. Today, I choose positive thoughts about what joy might come out of this distress. Perhaps I can achieve new areas of personal growth. Maybe I can forge a stronger bond with my loved ones. Maybe I can forge a stronger relationship with Christ. Maybe I can even learn how to approach situations differently in ways that avoid much of the pain and suffering in the future. Indeed, learning and growing through the pain is one sure way to experience joy and self-satisfaction. Joy comes in the morning. So here are our reflection questions for today. First of all, if I'm honest with myself, are there lessons that I can learn in my suffering? Yeah, if I'm honest with myself, are there lessons that I can learn in my suffering? If I can just take my eyes off of the pain, if I can just take my eyes off of the situation long enough, is there a lesson that I can learn in my suffering? Number two, what are some lessons that I have learned about my own strength in past situations? And I don't know about you all, but I know that in situations that I've gone through in my life in the past, I've learned resilience. I've learned perseverance. I've learned determination. I've learned really that I'm a lot tougher than I think I am. And I learned most importantly that I can truly lean and depend on God. I don't just have to go through it and do it all by myself. I've learned how to uh, accept the things that I cannot change. And, and, And I've gotten courage to be able to change those things that I can. And I have learned learn the wisdom in many situations to know the difference. Amen. So I'd look back and look at the things that I've learned, the strength that I've gained in past challenges. And then number three, who are some others that have inspired me through their own sufferings? Who are some others that have inspired me through their own sufferings? And that, that speaks to our ability to be able to give our testimony when we're going through something. Yeah, we don't want people to always believe, especially as, as believers, that everything in our lives are always perfect. Everything in our lives are always going the way that we want them to go and going the way that we planned. So it's important for us to give our testimony because there are other people that are looking at us and they can learn from us in our own sufferings. They can learn from us in the way that we deal with tragedies and the way that we deal with tribulations and trials when they come. So just remember that, that the word is true. We are overcomers by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Don't be afraid to give your testimony because in the the self-reflection number three, who are some others that have inspired me through their own sufferings? You may be the one that needs to inspire somebody else through what you're going through.
God bless you today. Listen, I want to remind you that you can connect with me on social media and all of the social media platforms at Cheryl Speaks Now. We also want to remind you to go to the website, www.cherylspeaks.org. That's Cheryl Speaks. Org. You can reach out to us if you'd like to connect with me personally at info at org. You can also drop us a phone call, 800-772-0193, 800-772-0193. And also make sure that you join us every Saturday, Saturday 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Rima Gospel Radio for the D-Suite. That's right, the D-Suite is on Rima Gospel Radio, 101.5 FM LP, K-O-E-R, in, Houston, in Cypress, Texas, actually, Cypress, Texas. If you're not able to listen to us while you're here in the city, you can definitely download the app on TuneIn or the Apple iTunes Store, Rima Gospel Radio app. And you can also go and listen to us on your computer at Rima Gospel Radio, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, remember, beloved, God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Be blessed.